Hello, this is Todd Luck, and Joe Jesco recently made history as the first artist to illustrate all 24 of Edgar Rice Burroughs' Tarzan novels. And so now he's moving on to Edgar Rice Burroughs' Mars novels and has completed the first novel cover for A Princess of Mars starring John Carter and has done preliminary sketches for the next two Mars books. And I'm going to show you all that. And this is all part of the Edgar Rice Burroughs Authorized Library, which is a collection of books that is going to reprint all of Burroughs' novels. There's over 80 novels that Burroughs did, and so it started with Tarzan. It's moving on to John Carter and Mars, and they'll be doing Carson of Venus at the Earth's core. You name it. If Burroughs wrote it, it will have a Joe Jesco cover, a Joe Jesco frontispiece, and archival material in this amazing series of books. And on Facebook, Joe Jesco has given us a tremendous insight into how he paints these covers, especially this first cover for A Princess of Mars. And so he begins with preliminary sketches just to make sure he's got the idea for the cover. And here's his sketch for that first cover. And as you can see, there's a lot going on here. It's got a lot going on in the background, but lots and lots of kinetic action with John Carter fighting a Thark over Dejah Thoris, Princess of Mars. And then, of course, he does the pencils that he's going to be painting. And you'll notice he left out the moons in this version because he hadn't decided where they would go yet. And so then he paints this smaller rough version of it to let him know what colors he wants to use where and how they interact with each other. And he's going to use this as a guide throughout the process. And then he starts painting on the canvas, starting with the sky, and he's made a decision about where those moons are going to go. And you'll notice he's painting over the drawings of the characters he's done. If you're an artist, you probably know this, but you always render the background first and then fill in the characters that are in front of it. Because if you try to draw the background around the characters in front of it, you may guess wrong and it may not match up and all that good stuff. But he's not going to lose all that line work. No, he actually has covered it up and can just peel this stuff off to get to all the line work he did on those foreground objects and he's still got a clean canvas to work on. So that is really neat, some old school magic right there. And then he's gonna start laying down the colors on this cliff that they're on. And so he's just gonna start with the basic color of it and he's gonna put in details. He's just gonna add layers of detail as he goes and kind of render it further. And here's what that looks like zoomed out. Here's the first pass on the ground, and you'll notice he's got his color guide beside of him, and he's got the building in the background. He's already started to render it. And here's that second pass where he adds in more detail, and you can really see the painting start to come together. And then he is going to go to the thoat, which is the animal that the Thark is riding, and then he's going to add in more detail onto the thoat. And it really is novel accurate. Uh, it's these really weird wild colors that Burroughs describes and it just looks really really beautiful and you can just see the emotion on this poor creature's face as it's in the middle of this battle being overwhelmed by all these forces that are going on here and then of course he has to render the princess of Mars herself. Let's talk about what she should look like. I'm going to read from the novel. She was as destitute of clothes as the green Martians who accompanied her. Indeed, save for her highly wrought ornaments, she was entirely naked, nor could any apparel have enhanced the beauty of her perfect and symmetrical figure. Burroughs says similar things when he's describing Tharks in the novel, that they're naked but for ornaments, and he specifies what that means. That means their harness, any type of jewelry they're wearing, or any type of headdress they're wearing. And so the exact same thing holds true for Dejah Thoris. And there's hundreds of different ways that you could paint a harness. It can mean a lot of different things, just as long as you're not painting her in a string bikini or pasties and a thong, I think you're doing fine. And this is a great harness for her to wear. And I think this is probably the best painting of Dejah Thoris I've seen Joe Jesco do. And now Jesco is going to move on to the most recognizable and iconic character on this cover. And of course, that would be the Thark. Tharks are one of the most iconic aliens ever made. Even if you've never read the John Carter novels, you know that if you see a forearm green alien, it is a reference to a classic science fiction novel. 
Tharks are just very iconic. And aside from Tarzan himself, are probably the second most recognizable visual creation of Edgar Rice Burroughs. And like everything else on the cover, the Thark looks like it's straight out of the novel. And there's many different artistic interpretations of the description in the novel, but I think Jusko has always done a fantastic Thark. And now Jusko is going to put the finishing touches on the hero of the novel, John Carter of Mars. And it's a really kinetic action pose, but I want you to take a look at that foot that is on the left, that sole that's sticking out, that he's kicking in the air. Now, when he gets to this point, he's pretty much done with the painting, but he is not happy with the angle of the foot that is on your left, right? He thinks too much of the sole is showing. So in the final painting, he just angles it just a little bit and he gets it exactly the way he wants to. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the finished cover of A Princess of Mars by Joe Jesco, a really tremendous work of art. And the craziest thing to me is as much as I associate Joe Jesco with Edgar Rice Burroughs' art, that is from card sets and comic books. This is the first time he has ever done a set of paintings for Edgar Rice Burroughs' novel covers. And I gotta say, he was the perfect choice to do the covers for the authorized library. And so now that cover is done, but he also posted preliminary sketches for his ideas for the other two novel covers. And so here's a sketch for the second novel, Gods of Mars. And so this is a scene from the beginning of the novel in the Valley of Dor, when John Carter and Tars Tarkas team up to fight plant men and white apes. And it is really well rendered. We get Tars Tarkas in the background and John Carter going medieval on this giant plant man. And it looks awesome. Now for Warlord of Mars, the third novel, he posted two sketches and said that he hadn't decided which was going to be the cover and which was going to be the frontispiece on the interior, which is just kind of black and white line art, but both would look really good either way you go. The first option is this outside shot, which looks really spectacular, and we have both John Carter and Woola, and it looks really cool. Option number two is this really kinetic action scene on this winding staircase that looks really awesome as well. And if you look closely, you'll see in the background we have DJ Thoris and Woola, plus John Carter just opening up a whole can of whoop ass, throwing these guys around like they're nothing. Either option will be awesome. And so that's the three novels he's working on right now. And after that, they'll be releasing novels two at a time, starting with Thuvia, Made of Mars, and Chessmen of Mars. And you're seeing Frank Frazetta's Thuvia painting here. But from here on out, they're planning to release them two at a time, and so that way the time between novel releases will be much shorter. The Mars novels are not up for pre-order yet, but all 24 of the Tarzan novels are available to order right now. And so for the first time in a long time, you can order all of those novels from one place. And pretty soon, the same is going to be true for the Mars novels as well, and that's pretty exciting. All right, like and subscribe for more videos. And until next time, see ya.